In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch up your reggaeton drums. What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video and in this video I'm going to create a reggaeton beat which is inspired by Jay Cortez and Bad Bunny. I recently released my new reggaeton producer kit, it's out now, make sure to download the free preview, the link is in the description and I'm also going to use this pack in this video. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So I'm going to create a more down tempo reggaeton beat, so first let's adjust the BPM to 91. And we're now gonna start off with an ambient piano. So let's open up the piano V3 and let's let's pick this island vibe piano. And I'm going to create this beat in F sharp minor. And I'm starting off with this chord. And then upwards, double down this B. And right now, let's add some lower notes. I'm gonna start off with the root note of the chord. So this F, F and then we're adding this D. Amazing chord progression. So right now, let's add some more notes on top to add some more high frequencies. So we're gonna reuse some of the notes. So let's use this A. That's perfect. Pretty basic emotional chord progression. So right now we're gonna add some more layers. So let's add a bass line. So I'm gonna use the Mini V3, which is an awesome plugin by the way. Let's open up the presets and then there is this preset a bass you will use. So right now, just copy the root notes or the bass notes into this one. As a perfect amount of mid frequencies, maybe reduce a little bit. Maybe right now the piano sounds way too sharp, so let's link it to the mixer, and then we're gonna add an EQ. And really just reduce some of the high frequencies. So we're gonna use shape and use a high cut or a low pass filter. Giving you some dark atmosphere. All right, now let's add some keys. So I'm gonna use the Stage 73. And let's go with the stock preset, so the first one. Copy the chord progression from the piano into this one. Then select the whole progression, option, and then scroll upwards. Oh. Scroll upwards, so it fits perfect together, like this. So right now, widen up the sound, so I'm gonna use Mangler. And this plugin is from Unison, so expand. Wakes it may more aggressive. All right now I'm gonna add a simple plug, so maybe a saw wave or a sine plug, and I'm gonna use an analog synthesizer. So let's use this Chop 8 V4, if I pronounce it right. And then open up the library. So let's use this simple pop plug keys preset. Open it up. All right, now we're gonna pick one of the nodes. So for example, let's start off with this A. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting. This will be the counter melody. Let's just add another layer to keep it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna use the Mellotron 5, open up the library, and then, then let's pick a flute. This one sounds crazy, so let's use this one. Copy the melody into the Mellotron. Shorter than the notes. Maybe this is a little bit too repetitive, so we're gonna add some notes in between. Make it a little bit more interesting. That sounds perfect. So I think right now it already sounds very interesting. So let's clone this one. 
and we're gonna create that typical reggaeton rhythm bass. Let's just use the same notes again, then shorten those ones. We're gonna pick three fourths of a step. This will be the main bass line. Alright, now we're gonna add some drums. So I'm gonna use my new reggaeton producer kit. And let's start off with a snare. So I've included a lot of snares into this one. So let's use this one, which is one of my favorites. So we're gonna create that regular reggaeton snare. Which is very present. All right, now let's add a kick. So I'm gonna open up the kick. Let's pick 19. I'm gonna create a simple four by four kick loop. All right, it sounds fire. Already pre-mixed drums. So just drag it in and you're good to go. And right now let's make it a little bit more interesting by adding in a head. Let's use this one. And let's draw it in at the empty spot. And reduce the volume a little bit, which is a perfect addition. And when it comes to this beat, the main chord progression and melody could be a little bit repetitive. So we're gonna make a big switch up when it comes to the drums. And this is something which you hear in a lot of reggaeton beats. So we're gonna pick another kick and snare. Like this one, the first one, just copy it. And then remove the second and third one. And let's pick another snare, a more regular one. Let's pick this one. And just copy the exact rhythm from snare 14 into this one. And let's clone it again. And then we're gonna copy the hi-hat loop. So we're still using kick 19 and disable snare 14. And this is the second section when it comes to the drums. Let's adjust the volume. So oh, that sounds crazy. Right now I'm gonna quickly arrange the beat. So right now we're gonna split up all these elements. So select them all, select pattern one, left mouse button, and then split by channel. So right now all the elements are split up. There you go. Drag them in into the arrangement. I'm gonna keep it very simple right now. Let's remove the drums. This is the bass line. I always like to structure it this way. So first the chord progressions, then we have the other melodies which are coming in, then the, then the bass line, and then the second bass line. I make sure to separate the bass lines using another track. So we're using this kick in both parts. Remove this one. So this is what I've got so far. Really enjoy the bass line. So maybe reduce it a little bit, the volume. Up. So I think the transition when it comes to the drums could be way much better. So right now I'm gonna tweak it and create a final beat. So this is what I've created so far and I've added those underwater drums. And this is used in a lot of those beats. So let's have a listen. Sounds crazy. So how did I create this one? So I've basically just duplicated the drum. So I've used the first kick, which I've dragged in, the snare and the hi-hat. And I've pitched down the kick from C5 to C4. Then linked those three to the mixer to one bus. Then added the Saturn 2, which create a kind of reverb -y effect, which sounds crazy. Then I used this bell to cut out the high mid frequencies, use this O2T multiband compressor, and then use the Valhalla Vintage Verb to add some ambience to the beat. And I've also used a sidechain on the chord progression. So it's way bouncier. Something which is pretty nice to add to your reggaeton beats. So right now we're gonna have a listen to the arrangement. So I hope you enjoy it. Tweak the EQ and the piano and the mark. Flute coming in again. 
gives you like a preview of the full beat. So you already know what's coming. Your mini bass coming in again. Sounds way cleaner. Still very chill and low key. Buck coming in. Switch up the beat. Layering the two plugs. So another verse. Switch up the plug again. Simplified the melody. So just going along with the chords. Another switch up. So that's it for this beat guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to download this FLP, which is for free. The link is in the description. And also make sure to check out my new Reggaeton producer kit. Highly recommend downloading your free preview and just have a look. That's it for this tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.